Hi, it is me, Linda, if you are new here, hello if you're old here. Today, we, well, I was thinking I'm gonna do a highlighter declutter because I did my blushes, I think, last time. Um, I'm gonna have to look back and see what else I did, but anyway, I thought today we could do highlighter. I can't guarantee I'm getting rid of a lot, but I do know right off the bat there's probably like four or five I can go ahead and get rid of that I really just don't need in my collection. Um, I, for some reason, thought today was the 12th and it's the 11th, and I thought I was getting my Ipsy bag today, so it was supposed to be an Ipsy video, but Ipsy should be tomorrow. So today we shall declutter my highlights, and then I did get a couple of, um, new goodies to add to my collection that I've seen at the store and some of the items are items I've been wanting to pick up and one is recently new but I've seen it and I remembered it so I was like oh I'm gonna get you um I think I'm gonna go ahead and just show those in the ipsy video well no I don't know I don't know when I was gonna do a full face and new makeup but I don't have quite a full face yet um I will go off the bat and just show you guys this um wet and wild it's a sleeping lip mask and I was super excited to try this because I have the um hold on hold please Okay, so as I was saying, I wanted to get the sleep lip mask because I have the lip treatment, and I got this one first, and honestly, <laughs> excuse me, I'm surprised people use these up fairly fast. I guess if I kept it next to me, um, I'd use it more, but because it's on my desk usually, but because I just cleaned my room and cleaned everything off, I did put it away and forgot. Um, however, the lip mask is in lavender, and I honestly thought I could get over the fact that it's lavender, but holy is the smell so strong and as you can see i did try it out twice already i tried it two nights in a row um i love how it feels on the lips i hate how it smells and i'll be laying in bed and i'm like what's that smell like because i completely forget i put the lip mask on and i'm like oh it's that lip mask this one i wish the lip mask was in this this is grapefruit mint this one smells so much better but it doesn't feel obviously as like you know thick I would say thick because the lip mask goes on and feels just a little like like good thick not like thick thick but good thick so yeah anyway this is one of the items I picked up I think I'm just going to quickly show you all of the ones I got actually because there's two highlighters in it and I'm not decluttering those so the next thing I picked up was the Rev Revlon skin lights and these have looked so pretty online I had to go ahead and pick them up um I got this in this shade daybreaker daybreak glimmer I think is what it's called it's a prismatic highlighter and I haven't even opened that was far from easy. I'm so special, but just look at how beautiful that highlighter is. That is so beautiful. And the way that it just like catches on the sun and my natural lighting coming in from the window. Ooh, and it feels so pretty. Oh yeah, I'm excited to try that out. Of course, the way that it's picking up on my hand is not as how pretty it is in person. Feels really nice. I think I'm gonna like it oh yeah look at that I just like did a little second go Woo! that is so pretty so that's the Revlon I've been wanting that for a, a little while so next up is the Milani and this is the all-inclusive eye cheek and face palette um, I'm super excited about this get that tape off I do have it I'm holding it like upside down um, it's a really pretty palette and I thought that they like the bronzer and the highlight and the blush not the shimmer blush though because I'm not really a shimmery blush person I haven't really tried it but I don't know if I would like it I'll have to try it in this one this is literally like I feel like a perfect all-in-one like palette because it's got a really pretty high oh the, the I went in maybe with a little bit of a heavy hand on that that highlighter though is really pretty it's not picking up so so good because I have my natural lighting on let me see if I put this one on oh yeah you can see more of the gold in it um, I definitely went in not realizing the feeling of the formula. The formula is like, it's weird, actually. It's so weird, but that's the highlighter, holy, the way that it's picking up from the outside light. And then the bronzer, which I think definitely could work for me. Um, it's a little of a different tone than I normally go for. Ooh, but this blush is definitely one that I would go for. Like, oh, it's so hard to see it, but it's super pretty. Um, anyway, there's that. So these are two new highlighters I'm adding to my collection and I'm really excited about it. Plus it has like this giant mirror in it and that is so awesome. This is like a perfect mirror to hold up when I'm like doing my makeup. And then the last item I went ahead and picked up is the Hard Candy Sheer um, Hydrating Primer Makeup Grip Moisturize and Perfects. I was wicked excited to try this hydrating primer because I've been watching a few YouTubers that use this, um, especially Jazz, uh, which is a really big fan of like drugstore. She does a lot of like drugstore. Obviously she has like high-end stuff too. But anyway, I just wanted to throw this in this video. Now let's get to decluttering highlighters okay so let's take a dive into the highlighter slash bronzer drawer um i did just go ahead and keep them in the same one because bronzers and highlights are my absolute favorite again i can't remember if i did bronzers yet but i'm going to be doing these soon um i'm going to do highlighters first going in with this um aurora from abh um it was pretty cheap at my work target i mean tj maxx silly me um i do i bought it for like this shade and then i think this one i can't even kind of pull off oh no that one's like way too light holy 
Um, and then maybe this one, I don't know. Do I want to part with it yet? Okay, here's the deal. I feel like because I don't use like this one and this one, you know, I think I need to give myself, oh, this one's like a shifter one. Oh, but that one's like really crummy. Yeah, it's like white gold. It's really weird. That last color, they're like shifts. Oh, you can totally see it. Changes color. Like it appears more gold and then white at the end. These shades are actually all really pretty. Do I let it go or do I remember to use it? Oh, that's like a pink. You know what? No, I'm going to go ahead and declutter this because even though I'm swatching it and I think it is so pretty, I just don't reach for it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this one. And of course I have my handy dandy decluttering basket. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this actually over there. And then I have my handy dandy cleaning makeup off of my hand wipe because that's always helpful. Next, right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this Milani Ludicrous Lights. Um, I got it um, on sale at Walmart, but look at that. That is like chunky the house and it's just full of glitter. I think this is more of like something that would be fun for something I don't do, like go to concerts or something. Again, it is super pretty, but I don't wear it, so I'm not going to keep it. And then this one I have from Wet n Wild. Um, it is the Rainbow Lighter. It's like a limited edition or something. I think I got it for free after I made like an order, but this is not a shade I wear, so I don't know why I keep it. I think at first it was because I had a smaller makeup collection, but now that um, I have grown and have a lot of things I do like, this I can go ahead and declutter. Um, again, something I put on my hand has a lot of glitter chunks in it, and I don't like glitter chunks at all. So with that being said, this cover girl I got for $2 at Walmart in the clearance section, it's the Peach Punch Highlighter. The packaging is super pretty. Like, I love this packaging. And I think it's in, it must just be Peach Punch. Yeah, because I'm really not going to keep, going to stand here and like see if I can ever find it. But this is so, like, chunky glitter. Let me see if you, yeah, like, the, those glitter chunks in it, I wouldn't wear because they're too chunky. Like, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, look, my whole hand is now glittery just from this highlighter. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. It's a shame. Luckily, it was only $2 because I really hate to just throw money away. But with how glittery it is, I know I will never wear it. I went ahead and, like, really just washed my hand to start with a fresh base. There was so much glitter on it. Okay, next C. What do I want to dive into that I absolutely know I don't want? Okay, this I absolutely know I'm keeping for no reason. This is, I want to say, yes, Lunar Beauty. This is Manny anyway. If you guys are aware of him, I freaking love him. But this is in Moon Prism or Moon Prism Powder Highlighter, and it's in Jupiter. And this was in a mystery box, but, like, I seriously can't use this as highlighter. It's obviously way too deep for me, and it's, like, kind of orangey. And this one's, like... I don't know. I never reach for it. I keep it, I think, just because it's Manny's. But is that silly? Is that silly to keep it because it's Manny's? I don't know. I don't know. And it's like, I feel like it's rather glittery. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But because it's not a shade that is going to work for me, it's just not work. Oh, yeah. There's so much glitter. Like, I just wiped it off and look at all of that glitter in my arm. Okay. So, um, Manny, I freaking love you. I'm only getting rid of this because I absolutely cannot use it. Look, I even kept the satisfying peel on the mirror. Like, I'm so sad. Do I keep it for nostalgic reasons? Like, the packaging is so beautiful. I tried to go on his website to get a shade that would work for me, and it didn't. Which then leads me to... All right. I will take it out of my at least amazing container because that's a waste of space because I can't use it. But then it leads me to this highlighter, which is from Revolution. And they totally knocked off like Manny's component like he did a whole review on this and I know he feels like we shouldn't have bought it or supported it but his shade that matched me he still sold out of so when I seen this it's glass mirror uh, illuminator and when I seen that they came up with this um on revolution I kind of had to pick it up because it's actually a shade that's wearable for me I'll go ahead and do a swatch for you guys and it's like nothing super crazy. It's pretty subtle. It was $10. His is like pretty expensive. Sorry, that's a lip liner swatch because I was going to do a lip liner declutter too, but you guys, I literally have 12 lip liners. Why would I declutter them? So this one I'm definitely going to keep. I do, however, feel bad that Nanny felt like it was obviously a, like a ripoff or like taking his design or whatever. But anyway, I have this e.l.f. white pearl highlighter. Looks like this, just really simple. Um, it looks like rather yellow, but because of the lighting, oh yeah, yeah, like yellow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and declutter it. I think I never reach for it, so I really feel like there's no reason to have it in my collection. So I will go ahead and declutter that. And then what else did I have that I absolutely know I don't want? This is was a little trio, like at the Dollar Tree. I actually have the blush and the bronzer right here. Um, I don't know why I didn't get rid of them. I know this isn't a bronzer declutter, but this bronzer has so much glitter in it. Oh yeah, and it's like so, so light, kind of blends in with my skin. I'll put the bronzer in there too. But anyway, this is just a little highlighter. Let's go ahead and see what this one looks like. Okay, well, that's definitely why I kept it. It's this one right here, and it's actually kind of pretty for a dollar, but I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. I don't need it. And then let's try and clean up some of this um, swatchy mess. Um, let's see. I have a Nomad. This is um, highlighting powder in Midnight Sun. It's literally the dinkiest little thing, and I honestly hate keeping things that are so tiny. Again, it is, results in me never grabbing for it, but ugh, why is that actually so pretty the way it's catching the light? Oh my god. You know, I'm gonna have to test this out in an upcoming, like, Ipsy, um, video, like, trying, like, a full face of only Ipsy products, because it's so pretty. Like, look at that. What? I don't even understand that. Like, it looks a little casty, though. Like, when you're not directly in the light, it looks a little, like, 
like it sits heavy like a cast I don't know I blended it a little better we'll try it out one more time before I get rid of it this is the Becca champagne pop I was super excited when I finally got this in my collection and I'm super happy I did because she's like going out of business or whatever and this highlighter is so pretty to me so I'm gonna definitely go ahead and keep this forever it's like a collector's item and then I have this elf one and this is in moonlight pearls I believe this one I'm probably gonna go ahead and keep since I decluttered the other one and this one works better for like my skin tone yeah, that's pretty. I'll go ahead and keep that one because I did declutter the other one. And then this I'm tossed about because this is another little sample. I can't remember in what I got it in. It's um, Kilito Cosmetics or something. It's I think the shade is it's an ultra fine pearl illuminator in Goddess. But here's the thing. It's kind of deep, which is, yeah, that shows more of the true shade. And I feel like because of the component it's in, I just, I don't know if it's because it's like a twist offer, but... It's like kind of pretty. I'm going to keep it only to try it on like my face and see if there's like a cast or whatever because it's kind of dark. And then I have a little mini um, Ofra. This is um, Star Island. I'm definitely going to keep this because uh, Ofra is stunning anyway. And I'll do a little swatch right there. Um, God, why did that not come out? So, oh yeah, so pretty. It's because of the angle on my hand. But yeah, it's definitely a very beautiful highlighter. I have so many more highlighters than I can even begin to realize that I had, but hear me out. Highlighters are my favorite. Um, this Color Rain, I think is what it's called. Um, no flash needed. It's, um, I can't remember what I got it in. Maybe it was Ipsy, maybe it was BoxyCharm back when I was doing BoxyCharm, which I'm actually going to re-sign up for, I think, because I truly enjoy and miss opening um, the $25 BoxyCharm a month. This is, like, super powdery. And, oh, yeah, look at the shift to that. Totally changes color. Um, it's pretty, but I feel like, I, I don't know, would I reach for it? Am I going to reach for it here? Let me, like, kind of tap some on my face and see how I feel. Um, hmm. Let me show you guys my cheek. So I tapped a little bit on my cheek. Can you see it? I feel like maybe you can see it. I don't know. I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I can really see it. it's a little like yellowy. I don't know. I think, you know, I'm going to let it go because I'm not going to reach for it. So I'm going to let go. And actually, I'm already pretty holy up close and personal. Sorry, guys. I'm actually really surprised I already have so many highlighters in here, given the weird um, random bronzer that shouldn't even uh, be in the highlighter section. But so, yeah, that I'm actually shocked about how much I already got rid of. Anyway, let's go back to the highlighters because they're so much more prettier than my face. Um, This is a Will Powder. Yeah, blush. The Balm. This is a blush. Why is this in here? Oh, so it says blush. And I feel like I don't like these kind of things to be a blush. Like, how is this a blush? Does it say, no, that's totally not a blush. Like, that has to be a highlighter, right? Where does it say? It literally says blush right there. And then this is blush right here. But you know what? I'm, I'm going to get rid of it. I do never reach for it. I don't use it. I don't need it. And then nextly, ooh, my whole elbow even. This is the Catrice Cosmetics highlighter, and it's in what shade? P -p Pewter hi highlighter? Oh, Lumi. Wow, Linda, Lumi. Um, and this one, I don't think, excuse me, I've even tried yet. I think I've only just swatched it. Ooh, though, that is pretty. Why does it just look so awful on the back of my hand, but it, it does not, this, oh, maybe it is, I don't know, maybe it's because my hand's getting old and my skin texture is disgusting, oh, my phone just scanned me, but yeah, I don't really know how I feel about that, do you guys feel, oh yeah, oh that's why, it's because I'm way too close to you guys, that looks so pretty actually, I think, um, I'll hold on to it, because it's nice to have these little, like, um, Ipsy samples, so when I want to do a full face of Ipsy video, I can do that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll just keep that one, and then nextly, sorry, I had to sit down, standing is not so fun, this is the Jean B Miami, I think, yeah, and this is in... Guava Glow, I want to say. This is actually really pretty, and I thought the packaging was, like, so cute. It's, like, two flamingos, I believe is what they're called. Um, it's, I feel like, maybe a little underwhelming. It's this swatch there. You know, see, I don't know how people do this. They, like, all these hundreds of swatches. I'm really trying to be in depth with you guys. I hope you're proud. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Oh, see, it's so pretty, especially because my hand's just a little wet, like, applying highlighter right after you set your face with setting spray. I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to this, because it's unique, it's different, and like I said, I need a couple of options for, like, Ipsy videos. So, I have this one here, which is, is it Estate? Estate? This is Dumi in Lit, and this is, like, yellow, right? Right? Like, it looks like it's not gonna be maybe the best color, but it honestly is really pretty, and it shocks me. So, I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one, too. And then, lastly, this is the LA Color Beauty Pot. It's supposed to be an eyeshadow pot, but, girl, let me tell you. It is so pretty if you, like, go into it in the individual colors and swatch it, especially, like, that lightest shade as, like, inner highlight. Uh, yeah, see, those are so pretty. So that's why I kept this, because it's so pretty for, like, inner highlight or even highlight period. I don't even care. I like it. Okay, so this video is going to be super long. If I actually sit here and, like, swatch every single one with you guys, I'm going to go ahead and run through what I do have. Um, this is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. Did I do this one already? Oh, no, that's a Catrice. This one is, like, super, super dark. Why did I keep it? Oh, it's, like, really golden. It's so weird. It's, like, a yellow gold. And I, like, this is what I need to do. I need to try the products in my collection, like, two or three times. This I'm actually not going to declutter yet. Um, this is, like, a little blush. I think I just, ugh, why is it in there? Ooh, why is it actually really pretty, though? I'm going to put them in my blushes because that's actually, like, really pretty. Shockingly, and I already decluttered my blushes. So, um, I have this, um, Milani Strobe Light Liquid Highlighter. I can't remember, um, I cannot remember why I have it. Did I get it as, like, a free sample or was it, like, a mystery box or what? I cannot remember. Ooh. Why have I never tried to use this? I think creams, like, make me nervous, but I have been branching out a little bit with, um, like, 
cream blushes so i think i'm gonna keep that and test it out again i have this cover effects but this is glitter drops i'm gonna go ahead and declutter these i never use it i got in a boxy charm and i thought like at the time like i said when i have like nothing in my collection i think i need it so i keep it but i never used it and i do not really like glitter glitter okay i have the nomad i believe it's like nomad this is kiss on sun highlighter uh, it's called Balmoral Beach or something like that. I don't even know. But this is a super pretty highlighter. I think I'm pretty sure I know for sure that I like this one. It's exactly why I kept it. It's super pretty. I'm going to keep this one. I have... I'm going to put it over here because this is where I kind of keep, like, my smaller weird-looking highlighters. And then this is from this brand, which I, I, I... So, yeah, it's a highlighter. And I'm going to see. Some of them I do have to swatch if I'm super actually unsure if I want it or not. This one... Oh, boy. Okay, highlighters suck me in because this is actually so pretty. I just love highlighters, okay? I'm going to keep that one. And I think the Essence one I already swatched, but I am going to go ahead and actually keep it over here because of the shape that it is. It just fits better in this. And then I have the, this is like one of my first like highlighters, you guys, from Morphe. It's in Spark. I have one not broken. This one has literally fallen apart on me, but it is like one of my holy grail highlighters. So I absolutely will not part ways with it. It is super stunning. It's so beautiful on the skin, but I am going to put it over there, I think. And then I have the Koki Soft Glow Highlighter. This is in Heavenly. And honestly, you guys this is so beautiful like i love that highlighter right here like it's so beautiful i absolutely will not be parting ways with that i will not be parting ways with the rodeo dry from ofra this is so pretty honestly these are all pretty similar in shades so as you can tell i kind of have a i kind of have a type and then i also have this one this is in soho this is on the ofra and uh tay tell some, somebody mar it's a collab obviously um i have not yet to try this on the face it looks pretty actually the swatches are really pretty i'm gonna keep that i'm definitely keeping this elf rose gold this is so pretty and i love the packaging oops the only thing that stinks with um elf is you kind of got to get in it a little bit I'm going into my tattoos, but that's still super pretty. They look better from far away. I don't know why I keep trying to go so up close. And then I have the Ma uh, Maybelline Master Chrome, and this is in Molten Gold. This was one of my absolute favorite highlighters in my collection. It was, like, one of the first highlighters I ever had. I do not reach for it as much now, but I still would like to play around with it. The formula is so creamy. It's insane. Oh, my God, it's insane. And the way that it feels, um, it's a little deep for me, Molten Gold. I think it looks better on me when I have, like, let me try and, like, Oh, don't mind me while I'm just, like, applying a more highlighter on my face. Um, now I have two different colors on. I feel like it's... Is it quite my shape? You know? It looks better with a full face of makeup is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm gonna hold on to this one. I do want it in a lighter shade, but I just keep forgetting. I want to pick it up not only in the shade. And then the Milani I have as well, and this is Sun Glow, and I think it's in Strobe Light, I believe, is the shade name. This one is, again, another really pretty one. Although, it's also one of those, like, really... Ooh, the formula, again, feels a lot like the... Uh, Maybelline? Girl, get your head together. Like, with the way that it feels... I don't know, I can't even see the glow of that. All right, let's try this again. I went ahead and tried to take like all of the swatches already off of my hand so I could see this a little better by itself. Oh yeah, that's so stunning. This one's so pretty. This one is, is it deeper? Yeah, this one's just a slight different. They're kind of similar though, honestly. I'm going to keep this though. And this is another elf. Ooh, this one's pretty. This is in white gold, super pretty. One of the lighter shades. I do need to pick up a few more light shades to have in my collection, especially because like when I'm not having a summer tan, my summer shade, I should say, these lighter colors look really pretty on my skin. I'm going to go ahead and keep the elves together. And then I have two um, Wet n Wild. I have the Blossom Glow and the Golden Flower. Ooh, I've even almost hit pan on this one. That's how much I was obsessed with it up there in the corner. Yeah, I definitely hit pan. Um, it was definitely one of the first ones I had in my collection. And it's a lot easier to hit pan on things when you don't have a lot of that item. And then this is the Golden Flower Crown. Ooh, and that's actually really pretty too. I'm not going to go ahead and part with any of those. And so I have the Jamie Genevieve. This one I don't love. It's super, super glittery, which I was just getting done telling you guys. I don't really get down with all the glitter chunks, like the glittery chunky highlighters. Um, I love, 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 love Jamie Genevieve. No, I don't love her. I don't even know her. I enjoy her a lot in her YouTube content. Her husband and her dogs, they are so adorable. This was super expensive. I will not declutter it. It will definitely remain in my collection for many, many years to come because it is a collectible for me. So I will be keeping it again. I just... I, I should have I should have waited and let her collection kind of grow a little bit like her um her brand because she just came out with like a new face glow thing and I think I'd be more interested in that than this but I love the component and I love the shade I just don't love all the glitter specs in it like if I get really really close you can really see all the glitter specs anyway I'm still gonna hold on to it and then I have this <clears throat> excuse me trio from Believe Beauty and this one is again a really pretty highlighter and it's a three a trio so I'm gonna keep it regardless and then I have this Madison and Miller Madison Miller Ofra. I don't know. Is it Madison Miller or Madison Miller? I don't even know, but I can't get it open. I was so sad because the prettiest shade in here like cracked all up on me and like broke a bit, but I'm definitely going to go ahead and keep this regardless because there's two stunning highlighters in here and an amazing blush. Okay, so I'm going to pull you a little closer just to wrap up this drawer. Um, I'm going to try and not swatch anymore. This is um, an e.l.f. palette. Um, it's called Golden. I honestly am just going to go ahead and declutter it. It is really pretty. However, I never reach for it, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I got a frog in my throat. 
this is like a whole wet and wild moment and it's a highlighter palette there is white lily blossom glow golden flower crown and bow tonic dream all of these are inside of it it's so pretty honestly do i have both of those i have golden flower crown and i have blossom glow golden flower crown and blossom glow oh my god i have two of those maybe i could just declutter the pan the palette the pans that i have and keep these because i'm pretty sure these are like both of the shades that i have yeah and it's in here i'm gonna keep this and i have the becca and chrissy i'm also super excited i got my hands on this one definitely keeping it this will stay in my collection forever even as like a collector's item and then my laura lee glaze lit kit or whatever absolutely never gonna part ways with this this is again one of those like collector things whoops where even if it is no longer good or 100 years old i will keep it it's super stunning and beautiful again how i feel about self x i do really enjoy her as well and i enjoy a lot of these highlighter shades this is like a very amazing palette and then I do have this. This is from I Love Revolution or I Heart Revolution or whatever. And this I've yet to really play with. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to it for now. And I'm going to safely say that is my whole entire highlight collection. And this is my declutter basket. Yay! If you guys survived that highlighter video, kudos to you because this is going to be probably like 20 minutes long. I don't even know after I edit and whatever, but right now I'm at like 30 minutes. Holy crap. I'm going to go ahead and count all the highlighters. I'm pretty proud of myself. I was able to go ahead and get rid of 10 highlighters, which is like obviously a lot because my collection isn't that big. But the fact that I was even holding on to that many highlighters that I wasn't even really using or needed, yikes. Um, like I said, in the beginning, it was more or less just kind of like having the collection I was so excited about. And so I think at that point, I was just like buying things and I didn't really need them and maybe didn't realize until later that I wouldn't use them or that they wouldn't work for me. That's something you learn along the way when you play with makeup. But yeah, I'm super excited just not to have wasteful things in my collection. If I'm never going to use it, there's no reason to have it. Anyway, if you guys like this highlighter declutter with me, um, go ahead and like this video, subscribe if you want because it is free, it don't cost you nothing. I do enjoy sitting here and doing this with you guys. If you enjoy it definitely like the video let me know in the comments because i could go ahead and go through my makeup and throw it away by myself but i know that it's like super satisfying watching people throw their makeup away so i just figured maybe people who follow me like might like it too anyway and i hope you guys like some of my new items i am going to pick up a few more things that i absolutely want maybe i can come up with a full face new video of makeup that would be super fun and i'll probably see you in my next one uh with my ipsy for the month of may i'm so excited i can't wait i'll probably test the products with you if we get enough do a full face with stuff i already have anyway i'm gonna end this out here because this video is hella long i'll see you in the next one bye